Hi, welcome to Living Lotus Yoga's Patreon. I'm Carol, and this is your gentle Hatha practice for calming the body and the breath. We're gonna be focusing on the whole body stretching and releasing tension, as well as we're incorporating the three-part breath or Dirga Pranayama. Dirga is a Sanskrit word that means deep, slow, and complete. So the complete breath. And it's going to pair really well with our gentle Hatha practice as we hold those poses for a little bit longer and are able to start to increase your oxygen supply, which in turn is going to relieve stress and tension. So a really great class coming up. Before we get started, go ahead and grab a few props for this class. You might like a small bolster, two blocks, and or a rolled up blanket just to prop the seat. That's all you need. When you're ready, we'll get started. Okay, so let's get started. Go ahead and grab your bolster or a roll blanket. We're gonna bring it underneath the knees for a little bit of support, and then just come all the way down onto your back. Wiggle around, get yourself comfortable. Allow your body to settle. Let your feet turn out slightly. Let your low back soften. Shoulders dropping into the mat, and then we'll bring one hand belly and one hand chest or heart center. Close the eyes if you'd like to. And before we do anything else, let's take three big grounding breaths. Just inhale through your nose, fill your belly. Sigh that out through your mouth, big sigh. Two more, just like that. Gently welcome your natural breath back. Just taking this time to shift your focus to here and now, to you on your mat, getting ready for your practice. Let everything else just fall away. It's all gonna be there when you're done. So take this time to focus on you, to focus on calming and releasing tension in your body, in your breath, and your mind. And we'll come into our three-part breath, or our Dirga Pranayama. Three-part breathing, the complete breath. So as you inhale, you're going to inhale through the nose to fill your belly, your lungs, your chest. And you're gonna exhale through the nose in reverse from your chest, lungs, belly. And keep it going in belly lungs, chest, exhale, chest, lungs, belly, at your own pace, three more rounds, breath in, sigh it out, welcome your natural breath back and just notice already how your body is feeling, how your 
mind is feeling a little bit calmer, a little bit more at ease. We're going to carry this with us throughout our practice today. So gently releasing your arms down by your sides, palms facing up. And if you do have something supporting the knees, we're just going to scoop that off to the side and allow our legs to come onto the mat. Now bring your focus all the way down to your feet and send some energy to the feet. Just gently wiggle the toes. And then go ahead and scrunch your toes in towards the soles of your feet. And then just release and stretch out the toes. Do that two more times, little scrunch and release. One more. Release. Let the feet soften and relax. Bring your focus up to your hands and gently send some energy to the hands by wiggling your feet. And then begin to guide all of the fingers into the palm of the hand. Make a fist, squeeze the fist, even draw the fist to the forearm if you like. And then release the hands. And do that two more times. Squeeze. Release. One more. Let your hands settle. Bring the energy up to the crown of the head and just turn the head over one shoulder. Pause here for one big breath. Over to the other side. you're ready draw your left knee up towards you hug it in towards the chest and just start by circling the left ankle and send those circles the other way and let the left foot rest you're going to go ahead and peel your upper back off the mat. So you're bringing your nose towards your knee. Take a deep breath in and out. Slowly bring your head all the way down onto the mat. Gentle hip stretch. So allow the left leg to open to the side and let the left hand be a kickstand for that left leg. Take a couple of deep breaths. And then gently guide the left leg over the right. So we'll come into a twist and we'll let the left arm open wide, gaze over the left shoulder. And bring it back. Give that leg another little squeeze and then just send it down to the bottom of the mat and make your way over to the right side. Right side, draw it up. Take a moment begin circle right ankle circles the other way allow the right foot to rest and again you're going to peel on the up away from the mat nose to knee big breath Head comes down. Right leg opens to the side. Right arm is acting as a kickstand for your gentle hip stretch. Deep breaths. And then guiding. Right leg over across the body, roll into a twist. Right arm can open wide and will gaze over the right shoulder. Bring it back into center. 
give your right leg another little squeeze and then just lengthen the leg all the way down to the bottom of the mat. Take a full body stretch by reaching arms up and overhead, lengthen from fingers to toes, inhale. Exhale, float your arms down by your sides. Walk your feet up onto the mat. Just bring your feet about hip distance apart. Soles of the feet pressing firmly down, low back, nice and comfortable, grounded to the mat. And then we're going to reach our arms up towards the ceiling. On your inhale, you're gonna reach for the ceiling so that the shoulder blades now lift off the mat. And on the exhale, we're gonna drop the shoulder blades all the way back down, pressing firmly into the ground or your mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, shoulders drop. Inhale, reach. Exhale, shoulders drop. One more like this, inhale. And exhale, shoulders drop. Arms fall wide, palms up. And knees are gonna fall over to the left. Recline, twist, gaze over your right shoulder. Hold and breathe. Bring it back to center. And knees fall to the right. Gaze over the left shoulder. Hold to breathe. Slowly back into center. From here, bring your arms back up and overhead, lengthen. And then just float the arms back down. Roll over to your favorite side, press the ground away and come on up and find a seated position. So best and most comfortable seated position for you and you can use your block, bolster or a blanket to prop the sit bones here because I want you to be comfortable because we're going to come to the seated position and hold it for a few rounds of our Dirgo Pranayama once again. Finding this breath in a seated position. So get comfortable. Again, one hand belly, one hand heart center or to the chest. Close the eyes if you'd like. And then take a deep breath in, sigh it out. And once again, come back into your three part breath. Inhaling belly, lungs, chest. Exhaling chest lungs, belly. Continue for four more rounds at your own pace. And don't worry if it's a little bit harder to find this breath in a seated position. It's just about exploring and trying. And allowing that sense of calm to once again wash over you. Now take a deep breath in, sigh it out, open the eyes if you have them closed, take a deep breath in, reach up, palms meet, gaze up, exhale, pull it down, left hand will come to the left knee, right hand will just drop down by our side and we're going to tip our left ear towards our left shoulder. Then taking the right arm, go ahead and extend it away from you. Couple of breaths here. 
And if this is feeling okay, you want to take it a little bit deeper or into the shoulder. Take this right arm and sweep it around for the small of your back and now encourage the right shoulder to roll open. Breathe in, breathe out, reset right hand and lift up the head. Other side, right ear, right shoulder, left hand by your side. Extend left arm away, take a couple of breaths. And then if you'd like, left hand sweeps around for the small of the back. Left shoulder rolls open. And reset left hand, reset head. Breathe in and out. If your easy seated position is like this, legs crossed, you're gonna go ahead and take the leg that's in front and bring it behind. See how that feels. Settle back in hands to knees and mortar and pestle. So we're gonna make those circles, top half of the body, making circles over the bottom half. It's really up to you how big or small these circles are or how fast or slow they are right now. You can match the movement to your own breath. Then you're gonna switch and go the other way. One more and come back up and into center. Sit nice and tall. Go ahead, reach your hands out in front of you, then turn the palms up. Once again, make a fist, thumb on top, and then squeeze that fist to your forearm. And then release the fingers and see if you can encourage the fingers to point down towards the ground. Do that two more times. Make a fist, thumb on top, squeeze to forearm. Release and fingers point down to the ground. One more. Soften hands, inhale, reach. Palms meet, gaze up. Exhale, pull down. And from here, we're gonna come over onto tabletop, so hands and knees. If you do have a blanket, you can feel free to pad the knees here. Remember, we're taking extra care of ourselves today. Finding that tabletop position, bringing your hands slightly ahead of your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, about hip distance apart. And from here, just settle yourself in and take a deep breath all the way into the belly. And out. And then go ahead and extend your right leg out behind you. Let the big toe come down to the mat and then press back through the right heel. So now you can feel that stretch on the back of the right leg. And then just edge off a little bit, come forward. And again, press back so that you can really feel that stretch down the back of the leg. And go ahead and edge off. One more, press it back. And then come back into center, but keep that leg extended. Inhale, sweep the right leg up to your right side doesn't have to come too high and then exhale sweep the right leg all the way down and around over to the left and then back up and around to the right inhale and exhale go ahead and gaze at the foot if you would like brings in a little bit more of a neck stretch one more and then draw the right leg back into center and right knee right back underneath you. Breathe in and out. Left side, extend left leg, big toe down. Press back, feel the stretch, edge off. Press back and forward. One more and bring it back. 
From here, we're gonna go ahead and sweep the left leg. So inhale, left leg up, around to the left side. Exhale it down and around behind you. Up to the left side, down and around behind you. Two more. Bring that left leg back to center and all the way underneath you. Take a breath in table and breathe it out. You're gonna guide your right hand to your heart center, right elbow to the side. And then inhaling, so you can draw that right elbow towards the ceiling and then back into center. So this twist is coming from your middle to upper back. We're trying to keep our hip points facing down towards the ground or the mat. Two more. And back. Reset right hand, inhale. Exhale. Take the weight off the left hand, bring it to your heart center. Same thing, inhale, elbow up. Exhale, back into center. even out the weight on all four points. Then take a deep breath in and find cow pose, belly dropping, chest lifting, gaze lifting, exhaling to find your calf, you'll tuck your tailbone really round through the back and gaze between the knees. Flow cow pose on the inhale, cat pose on the exhale. Two more. Try slowing the breath and then just finding that pause between the two as you transition. right leg out behind you once again, big toe to the mat. Draw your abdominals or engage your core. So draw your belly button in towards your spine and then lift up the right leg. Let's flex that right foot, squeeze the right glute. We're gonna hold for three breaths. If you want your balancing table, extend your left arm out in front, but know that it's an option and not necessary. Three breaths. Exhale, bring it all back to the mat. Cow pose, cat pose, table pose. Other side, left leg. Extend the leg, bring it up, strong core, squeeze the left glute. Optional, extend right arm. Again, three breaths here. One more cow and one more cat. Find your table. If you're using blocks here, you're going to bring them a little bit closer to you. If you're not using blocks, don't worry about it. They're not necessary. Just a little add on here as we come into our wide legged child pose. So big toes together, knees wide, seat dropping down towards your heels. And you're going to scoot those blocks a little bit closer so that you can actually bring your elbows on top of them. You'll bring your hands to prayer and then drop your head down between the space, right between the blocks there. Forehead down to the ground, hands can rest either above the head or just resting on the back of the skull or the back of the neck. So you really start to feel this little bit of a deeper stretch for the triceps or the back of the arms. We're gonna sink on in and just breathe. 
find the breath once again. And as you settle here in this variation of child's pose, let's see if we can drop back into that three part breath again for a round of five. It's gonna be a little bit different here as you'll notice that your belly is pressing against the thighs. So seeing if you can start to send the breath all the way around into the back body, allowing for that full expansion. So when you're ready, once again, inhale, belly, lung, chest. Exhale, chest, lung, belly at your own pace and once again don't worry if you're struggling to find the breath in this pose it's just about trying deepening and seeing what's going on with you your arms, draw yourself up, your hands can come on top of the blocks, you can press back into the hips and drop the head down between the arms, and then just come on up, find table, scoot your blocks off to the side, and from here you'll come into your puppy dog, so that means bringing your arms towards the top of your mat, and then dropping your sit bones down towards the heels, but not all the way, if that makes sense. Forehead's going to come down to the ground. So you'll notice that the sit bones, they stay elevated here. They're just drawing towards the heels. Forehead's pressing down firmly. Palms can either relax or they can press firmly down and you'll notice that deepens or intensifies the stretch through the back of the shoulders, bringing in a little bit more strength. So yogi's choice. Soft palms are active. Couple of breaths. And then draw the head up. Draw your hands back towards you. Go ahead and remove the padding from under the knees if you were using it. And then we're just going to guide ourselves all the way down onto our belly, nice and easily. Forearms will come down towards the ground. Forehead comes down towards the ground and then we'll press forearms, lift our head, lift our chest, lift our gaze, press the tops of the feet down into the mat and find your sphinx pose. And just hold here. Couple of breaths. And we're gonna take this into twisted sphinx. So left fingertips, they're gonna to point towards the right elbow. And then you're gonna bring your gaze over your right shoulder. Again, tops of the feet. Pressing firmly down into the mat. And then just take it over to the other side. So reset your left forearm, reset your gaze, right fingers, left elbow, gaze over left shoulder. And back to center, reset arm, reset gaze. Forehead drops down, hands draw back underneath shoulders, tuck toes, press yourself table. From tabletop, seat comes back, toes are tucked. I'm gonna press and lift hips up and back and find down dog. As this is the first one, go ahead and walk your dog or pedal those feet, just so that we can really feel the stretch down the back of each leg. Keep breathing. 
and then hold downward dog. So heels rooting down towards the ground. We're gonna bend the knees a little and then press and lift the hips up and back. Press through the palms, forehead, or head, sorry, right between the arms. Deep breaths. Awesome strengthening pose here. Allow yourself a couple more rounds of breath. And then gaze on up at the hands and walk the feet forward so you can find a forward fold, but keep your knees soft. Let your arms be heavy, let your head be heavy. Hold here in your rag doll. You can feel free to fold the arms if you'd like, opposite hand to opposite elbow. And then just take a little sway. Come to center. Let your left hand come down to the ground or down to a block. Press through that left palm, lengthen a little bit through the legs and send your right arm up towards the ceiling so that we're coming into a twist. Also optional to bring right hand to the small of the back. Let's switch that up. Soften knees, right hand comes down either to the ground or a block. Press through the right palm. Begin to lengthen the legs and draw the left arm up towards the ceiling. Again, left hand could rest on the small of the back if you prefer. Now soften knees, left hand down. Head hangs heavy, block off to the side if you're using it. Come up half fold, flat back. Come down full fold. And then rise all the way. Length through the spine, reach your hands, gaze on up and pull it down. Two breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let your hands come all the way down by your sides, palms rolling forward slightly. Gaze down at the feet, make sure they are about hip distance apart. Nice straight spine, roll the shoulders back and slide your head back or your chin in slightly. Close the eyes, take a breath. Let it go. Take a moment to check in, notice how you're feeling. Holding in your Tadasana, mountain pose. Then inhale, reach. Come into your warrior one, we'll step the right foot back to begin. Don't make this stance too big today. We're gonna to bend into the left knee, both feet flat to the mat. Settling yourself in, nice tall spine, and then we're gonna reach the arms on up towards the ceiling. Feet pressing firmly down, legs nice and active and strong. We'll hold the legs steady and we'll work the upper body. So inhale, I want you to really reach and lift the shoulders. And then exhale, pull it down, bend the elbows, wide cactus arms. Inhale, let the arms draw back, the gaze and the chest lift. And then exhale for a nice straight spine, close the arms in front. Repeat, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull down. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Now notice how slow and steady the breath is here. Two more, breathe in. Try not to rush. Reach your arms up. And on this exhale, let the hands come behind. Interlace the fingers to create a fist. Pull the fist down, roll shoulders back, chest lifts. Here's your inhale. Exhale, we're gonna fold forward inside of your left leg. You don't have to come too far. 
totally up to you if you want to start to raise or lift the hands up towards the ceiling or back of the room. Keep breathing. Then inhale, release your hands, sweep and rise. Palms together, draw down, breathe out. Big breath in, big breath out. Step your back foot, your right one, to the top of the mat. Feet are gonna come about hip distance apart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull down. Palms traveling all the way down either side of the body. Palms roll forward, shoulders roll back, tall spine, spine to dasana. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Soften and release. Take your left leg and step it back behind you. Find that warrior one on the other side. So again, not too big of a stance. Bend into the right knee, both feet firmly pressing down. Strong, steady legs, working the upper body once again. So finding the arms, lengthening to the ceiling. Settle. Take a couple of breaths. And we'll come into that flow. Lengthen, shoulders lift. Exhale, pull down, wide arms. Open. Close. Three more. Slow and steady. Remember, this is about working within your range of motion. Adapt and modify the sequence to best suit you. We're gonna do one more. Center, reach arms up, inhale. On this exhale, hands come behind. Interlace fingers, roll shoulders back. Inhale to lift, root down. Exhale, fold inside of right leg. Again, not too big of a fold. Decide if you're gonna let those arms begin to lift. Keep rolling shoulders back. Release, inhale, sweep, rise. Exhale, pull palms down. Step to the top of your mat. Big breath in. And out. Now find your Tadasana once again. Feet about hip distance apart. Lengthen through the legs. Lift your kneecaps slightly. Lengthen through your spine. Roll your shoulders back and let your chin just slide back slightly. Close the eyes, but we are gonna bring one hand belly and one hand heart center. And once again, we're gonna drop back into our three part breath, this time standing. So when you are ready, five rounds, three part breath. Into the belly, lungs,
breath in and out. Release your arms down by your sides, palms roll forward slightly. Tadasana, mountain pose. And once again, just hold on to this feeling and sensation of calm and release. And carry it with you through the rest of your practice. Inhale to reach. Exhale, forward fold. Soften knees. Inhale to half fold. And exhale to full fold. Again, hang out here. Fold your arms, opposite hand to opposite elbow. Really bend the knees. See if you can bring your belly down to your thighs. And just take a sway from side to side. Of course, it's always optional to come to a half fold if you prefer. your arms, find that half fold, inhale, exhale, come down, all the way down, however you want to get there, down onto your seat, and from here, lengthen your legs out in front of you, round down the sit bones, we'll come into staff pose, so legs right beside each other, heels press, legs squeeze together, quite a lot of strength going on in this pose, tall spine, belly button drawing in, roll shoulders back, and then press hands down towards the ground. So sometimes our hands don't come all the way down to the ground, that's fine, don't worry about it. The intention of pressing downwards into the ground, or bring blocks underneath your hands. If you prefer to have that sensation of pressing down, roll shoulders back and then nice and tall. Hold strong, couple of breaths. One more inhale. Exhale, soften the blocks off to the side if you were using them shake out your legs just a little and then sweep the hands all the way back behind you lean back onto the palms roll your shoulders press your heels and lift your gaze and your heart to the ceiling so a little bit of a chest opener just settle in to find your breath And then slowly come up nice and tall and make your way into a gentle seated fold. So bending knees, heels pressing down into the ground. Inhale to reach on up. And as you come forward to fold, take your hands underneath the legs. Give yourself a nice big hug and let your head drop down to your legs. I'm really encouraging any tension that's still hanging on to leave the body. Letting yourself soften a little bit more with every exhale. Slowly come up, nice and tall. Lengthen your left leg and then just draw the right sole up to the inner left thigh so right knees out to the side we're going to inhale to lengthen and exhale to fold over the left leg so hands may come to thigh they may come to shin or maybe your hands come to your foot but today is about being mindful and gentle with ourselves so maybe come back slightly and just hold there Make your way up nice and tall. Now take your right foot and cross it over your left leg. Bring your left hand to the right knee. Take your right arm, sweep it around behind you. Follow along with your gaze. Drop the right hand down and now you're gazing over that right shoulder. Deep breaths. slowly come through center, unwind all the way around to the other side, the left side, hands come down, just take a bow. And 
come up tall. All of that on the other side, so left leg will lengthen. Right foot will draw up, lengthen over the right leg, and then we'll fold. Again, perhaps coming back slightly from your full flexibility today to be gentle with yourself and kind and calm. Gently up, left leg, cross it over the right. Take the twist on the other side, so right hand, left knee. Now you sweep that left arm around, follow it with your gaze, drop it down and gaze over the left shoulder. Just sitting into your twist and breathing. And then coming all the way around as you unwind to the other side, hands come down and just taking a little bow. Go ahead, lengthen your legs, and then you're gonna widen your seat slightly. So, just as far as it's comfy. Again, not going to the full range of flexibility today. Being kind and gentle with ourselves. Nice wide-legged sit. And then we'll bring left hand inside of left leg and just right arm up towards the ceiling. Lengthen your spine. Right hand drops down, take it to the other side, left long arm all the way up. And back up to center. Both arms up and fold out in front. Palms coming down. Find that sweet spot where your hands can come to the ground and then you can press in the palms and now lean back into your hips as your head drops down. Hands will come towards you as you come up tall and then you'll draw the soles of the feet in towards each other so that your knees are wide so you're in your bound angle pose. You can hook on to the feet here if you'd like and just lift knees up and drop them down. Lift up and drop them down. One more lift up and then drop knees pressing down towards the ground and go ahead and see if you can open your feet like a book. So now your pinky toes are meeting, but the rest of the toes are spread nice and wide. From here, inhale to lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold it forward if you'd like. Just an option, you don't have to. Just as far as is comfy. Deep breaths. And then come up nice and tall. Use your hands either side of the legs and then draw the legs up. Feet to the ground, hold on to the knees. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean, round through the spine. And come up tall. Coming down onto our backs. <clears throat> so just walk yourself down onto your back. Nice and easy. Arms by your sides, just rocking the knees a little bit from side to side. And then we'll draw our right foot a little bit closer to our seat and we'll take our left leg and just stack it in your reclined pigeon or your figure four pose. Make a fist with the left hand and then apply a little bit of pressure just above the left hip crease. So perhaps it's directly into the thigh or perhaps it's actually rolling the left thigh away from you. And you're gonna know what feels best for you, how much pressure and where exactly you want to direct that pressure. Just by playing around and tuning in, you're looking to feel this on the outer back of the left hip. And perhaps if you don't feel anything, you're just not holding any tension there. So play around and see what feels best. Then we're going to reach around the right thigh. We're going to draw that right thigh in towards us and hold to breathe. Okay, 
dropping down right foot dropping down left foot bring that left heel a little bit closer to the seat and now stack the right side same thing we're going to make a fist with the right hand and then play around where we want to apply the pressure on this side around the left thigh, hugging it in, nice and close. Down, release. Left foot down. Right foot down, right to meet it. Walk your feet as wide as your mat and now allow your knees to rest in together. Once more, last time, one hand belly, one hand chest and to guide ourselves to prepare for our Shavasana by once again coming back into our three part breath or Durga Pranayama. Complete breath when you're ready. Begin for five breaths. your closing shavasana so if you would like to bring your bolster under your knees and legs and legs or if you'd like to roll to your side or your belly go ahead you can bring a blanket over you if you'd like to get really comfy and then just allow yourself to settle in so take some time prepare for shavasana Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Hold it for a moment and then slowly exhale. Just allow any tension to melt away as you gradually relax more and more deeply with each breath. Relax. And start to bring awareness to the top of your head. Imagine a feeling of relaxation. Beginning to spread down from the top of your scalp. Let the muscles in your forehead and temples relax. 
Allow your eyes to become heavy. Let your cheeks and your jaw soften and let go of all tension. Allow this relaxation to flow down your neck and deep into the muscles of your shoulders, just soothing and releasing them. As your body becomes peaceful and still, so does your mind. Allow any thoughts to become weightless and let them drift away. Keep returning to the breath, to your body. Relax your low back. Relax the back of your thighs and the front of your thighs. Soothing and relaxing all the way down through your calves, into your ankles, your feet relax, your toes relax. Your entire body is soft, calm and relaxed. when you're ready, take another deep breath.
slowly bring some movement back to your body. That can be wiggling your fingers or toes. Maybe taking another stretch. And then in your own time, gently roll yourself over to one side and just take some time there. Keep breathing deeply. Don't rush. Slowly bring yourself up and away from the ground and just come to a seated position, any seated position that works for you. Let's all take a deep breath, inhale to reach, gaze on up at your thumbs. Exhale, bring it down. Namaste. Thank you for taking your gentle Hatha class with your three-part Dirga Pranayama today. I hope you enjoyed it. And please keep a lookout for all of our on-demand classes coming to Patreon soon.